my mom says, there was a man that came to see you and he brought this rose and he left you this card. And she says, don't tell me you're going to go out with him. But I saw that you were thoughtful. You were not bad looking. And you made me laugh. No, you make me laugh. <laughs> I remember saying to you, uh, you know, I have two boys. And you said, so? That doesn't matter. I said, are you sure? And you said, yes. Yeah. Yep. And I remember every night I come pick you up every from night. work. Till finally on the ninth day we got married. My mom didn't want us to get married. So I went over to my sister. And I said, Esther, I'm going to marry George today, so get dressed. My sister says, today? I says, yeah. And my sister says, okay, this is what you want. I'll go with you. After that, we went to New York. You must have iron on your shoe. I hit past 95, and I felt the car going up off the ground. That was a good car. You're something else. <laughs> We've been together ever since. <laughs> we mesh together like one. When we're in the kitchen, we're like poetry in motion. We know which way to go because we're working together as a team. Hey, uh, what are you frustrated about me? Mm. That I like to know. Sometimes you get up in a grumpy mood. I don't get grumpy. No, I don't. <laughs> Sometimes. No, 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 no. You are the pickiest mm. woman I've known. <laughs> You don't finally got it out you, of here. All this restaurant out there is not good enough for you. Yeah, but you have to remember, who made me this way? I guess me. Ah, I spoiled you. You spoiled me. Yeah. I'm just happy to have a person in my life that I love very, very much. Okay. What are we eating tonight? <laughs> I just said I love you. And you asked me what I'm eating. Well, don't you love to eat? <laughs> <laughs> You're bad, George. <laughs>